Hello guys, CryptoGrounds here. Welcome back to another Unity C Sharp Idle Game tutorial video. This is episode 34. Today we're not going to be on Unity. We're going to be on the whiteboard instead. Because I feel like I should have explained and even learned myself how Bimax works and how we get the equations. So today I'm going to show you how that works, okay? If you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like, subscribe to my channel, and turn on those notifications for future videos. And comment your suggestions below. Anyways, let's get on with it. So first, our original cost equation comes from something like this, okay? So we have our cost equals base times R to the K. And actually, we can change this K to something like L. So let's have a little a key right here. Okay, so we have B, which is equal to the base or the start cost. R is equal to the growth rate, and L is equal to our current levels, okay? So for example, let's say we want to set our cost equal to 100 times 1.5 L to the power of L. Every time we have a level, 100 will be multiplied by 1.5. So if level was 1, so if 100 times 1.5 to the power of 1, this is basically just 100 point, or 100 times 1.5, which that will equal 150. So there's this example. Hopefully that makes sense. So this equation comes from something, and it's very cool how it actually turns out. I'm going to write this out. So this is called the buy n cost. So basically, any number n equals 2 is what the cost will be. So our max is what we'll use to calculate the maximum amount of upgrades we can use, and we'll set that equal to n, okay? I'll show you after this. So what we do is that we multiply b times r to the l, which I've explained what these mean over here, and we multiply this by r times a new variable, which is n, minus 1. We're going to divide this by r minus 1. Okay? You see, these look very similar, right? Just hide this, and you see this exact same equation. So how do we get here? I'm about to show you. So what we do is that this right here is the by, the by 1 cost, right? So in here, n equals to 1 in this situation, right? Here, n is equal to n, whatever we want it to be. Okay? So let's set n to 1. Okay, so now we have n equals 1. There's something that we can do. So whenever we have an exponent, it could be, for example, e to the 1 or 10 to the 1, it'll always equal itself because it's multiplying itself one time. So e to the 1 is simply e, 10 to the 1 is simply 10. Same thing here with r. r to the 1 is just equal to r. So now what we can do here is rewrite it as cost is equal to b times r to the power of l times r minus 1. Now, if you've taken algebra or any class higher than that, you should know what to do right now. We can simply just get rid of these in the, or just replace these with 1 because r minus 1 divided by r minus 1 is equal to 1. So that becomes 1 over 1. So then we rewrite it as cost is equal to b times r over l. And it's supposed to be r l times 1 over 1 but we can just simplify this to b times r l like that. Hopefully that makes sense. It's really cool how this all came together. Now you may not see that when you see this equation originally, you may not see this, but it's it's in there somewhere, right? So we actually get this equation from here, not this equation from here, okay? So now we need to find what n equals. How do we get n? Which in our case, we want to do the maximum amount, okay? So in here we'll write, uh, n equals, right? But I'm going to get rid of this because we need to solve some math first because this is actually quite a little bit complicated. So if you're in a lower level of math, this will look really confusing to you, okay? So if you've used Bimax in my methods, you can see that the equation for the count is C, right? So the thing here is that cost is C, but when we are looking for what n equals, c is also currency, okay? So what we're going to do is that we're going to replace this with c, okay? Okay, so c is equal to b times r to the power of l times r to the power of n minus 1. And divide that by r minus 1. Okay, so now we need to make sure n is on the right side and everything else is on the left side, okay? So first things first, 
we're going to just start doing some multiplication and division. So we're going to get C on this side, okay? So we can divide B to get it over here. We can divide R over L to get it on this side. So we then we know that if we divide these things too and put it on the other side, we have C is divided by B times R L. Okay, and this will equal to R N minus one over R minus one. Okay, you may see things are starting to look kind of familiar to our bimax equation, right? Or our bimax count equation. Okay. So now we need to multiply r minus 1 to get it on the other side. So we do c, so we're going to multiply r minus 1 from both sides. So we're going to do c times r minus 1 divided by b times r over l. And this is going to equal r n minus 1. Our last step before we do some other fancy stuff to get rid of this r, we need to add 1 to both sides. Okay. So this is going to go this way. So our C times R minus 1 over B times R over K plus 1 is going to be equal to R over N. Also, actually, this should be L. Sorry. Also, before we continue, I'm going to add N to our key, which is N is equal to number to buy. Okay? Now, how are we going to get this N? equal to all of this. Cool thing, log. Cool. So now what we do is that we log r both sides, okay? So we do log r, and we do log r, okay? And this will equal to log of r, log base r, in parentheses, c times r minus 1, divided by b times r over l plus 1 is equal to n because these two will cancel out, okay? So we just do log base r on both sides, and now we have our equation. n is equal to the log base r c times r minus 1 over b times r to the l power of l plus 1, and this is how many upgrades we can buy with the current cost, or our current currency. Remember, this is currency owned. Very complicated. So take a look at this. Okay, I'm going to replace this now. I'm gonna write it up here. Okay, so the max upgrades to that we can afford right now is gonna be N is equal to log based R. And inside that, it's gonna be C times r minus 1 over b times r l plus 1, like that. Now we have the plus 1 in pretty much every single log, so that if inside this is a 0, log any sort of log, log 0, this is does not exist. And this is a big no-no and can cause a lot of problems. So we add this plus 1 just to protect ourselves. And plus, this plus one, remember, this originally came from this one, like that, okay? So, that is the math behind bimaxes. I hope you guys understand this. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And I also just want to give you a heads up, this only works if R is constant. The reason why is because when we calculate this right here, it is calculating what r is equal to now, right at that moment when this is being calculated. If r is an equation, it's just going to get what it's equal at that very moment, okay? So remember, it's only good for constants. If you have, for example, uh, cost is equal to 100 times, um, let's just say, 1.5 plus L divided by 100 to the power of L. If you have something like this, this will not work. I mean, the, you won't get any errors, obviously, but this won't calculate correctly, and you will get cheaper cost than what it's actually equal to, okay? Now, doing an equation like this is very hard. 
So just be sure, try to avoid something like this. Something good, something like C is equal to 100 times 1.5 to the power of L. Okay? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you smash a like, subscribe to my channel, and comment your suggestions below and all your questions there too. Check out my videos in this top corner right here. Thank you guys for watching and hope you guys have a good day or night. Peace.